This is Mickey Clayton Insights. We're here today in South Carolina. Greenville. In Greenville, South Carolina with Smoky Dreams Barbecue and Catering. Man, I just had some good barbecue. Now, you know I like to find barbecue everywhere. <laughs> but if you anywhere within probably 75 mile radius, it would be worth it for you to come to Smoky Dreams. Chris, tell them where you're located. We're located at 2131 Woodruff Road. That's right at the intersection of Woodruff Road and Highway 14. Just off of 385. Okay, now we're gonna move to something that happened last night and today. Clemson, the heart and soul of South Carolina, getting ready to play for national championship. They get past the semifinal game today as underdogs, even though they're undefeated, underdogs to Oklahoma. And coach had to suspend three players today. Now, you know, as a former coach, you know, I have my heart goes out to him having to deal with that type of situation on the eve of a big game. But sitting here eating barbecue, we got a chance to get some insight from some loyal Clemson fans. What was your thought on it, Chris? Well, one of the things that we were talking about is I'm really impressed at the fact that Dabo did what he did. Um, you know, it's, it can't be an easy call as a coach to suspend three players on the eve of a huge game like that. But to me, the respect goes to him because these guys did something wrong that he had put out you know, rules for the team, and he followed through on it when it could have easily just pushed it under the rug. Nobody would have known about it. And, you know, granted, some people make the argument that, well, some of these guys, they weren't going to make a huge contribution anyway, but I would argue that one of those guys actually would have made a huge contribution to it. And so, uh, you know, I just got the utmost respect for him. Um, we've had the opportunity to do some catering for those guys, and it's been great to see that sort of family atmosphere that they create as, as coaches with their players. And so I know that these guys aren't going to be just reprimanded, disciplined, and kicked under the, the, you know, the fence. Instead, those guys are probably going to be loved on and, and cared for, and they're going to do some tough loving on them, I'd imagine, too. But, you know, I, I think it's all up in there as far as the game goes. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Okay, you said something that uh, you do, uh, Smoky Dreams does catering for them, so you mm -hmm. get a chance to see the guys. Right. Um, What's your thought on the team and the discipline that he has and the fact that he cares for him like he does? What do you see in him that earns that much respect from you? I just I think with Davo, at least what we've been able to see is, I mean, he is who he is. He's not a guy that shows up on the news as one guy and then on the field as another guy and at a catering event as a totally different guy. I mean, he's he is consistent 100% of the time when I've seen him in interviews. I know some of the players and those guys have said he's exactly the same way he is on and off the field. I mean, he's just a, he's just a good all-around guy. Okay, now <clears throat> move a little bit further. Tell me what does okay. it mean for Clemson and the community, for Clemson to be playing um, in the playoffs? Oh, it's a huge deal. I think, I think it, it's multi-layered. One is I don't think the ACC gets a whole lot of respect, and, um, or they haven't in the past. And I think this year it's, they're bringing that sort of new respect back to it. Now, granted, we did this in 1981, so this is kind of a, a new thing, or not a new thing, but it's, it's new to us, my generation. And so I think that for the community as a whole, it's bringing revenue, obviously, into the area because the people are going to the games. They're getting excited about it. We've seen a whole lot more national interest as well um, with Clemson football. So you're getting a lot of attention into the upstate uh, as it is. And I think that for us, we're just proud of those guys. They work hard for what they do. And, uh, you know, like I said before, it's, it's a great, great school. My dad actually is a graduate of it. So what's it like in this area when it's a Clemson home game? Oh, massive. It, this place right here is booming. Um, us along with every other restaurant in this area because we're right on the edge of the Clemson area anyway. And so people come through here, they're constantly getting caterings, um, they're getting out to the game, and it just the excitement, you feel it in the air. Even though that stadium's about an hour away from here, you, you feel the excitement. Um, and whether you're Clemson or Carolina fan, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You still get that same experience in this area. And some people hate it, some people love it, but it's we absolutely love it. And there you hear it straight from a Clemson fan. This is what Insight does. It brings you the stories that everybody else doesn't always bring you. Uh, again, if you're in the area, Smoky Dreams Barbecue and Catering, um, you're going to enjoy everything. I love the ribs. The baby back ribs were tender. I tried the mustard-based sauce on them. They brought out some beef brisket. Now, you know, I think I could do a beef brisket, but I can't do it well as these guys. They, they, this brisket they had was pretty good. Um, Smoky Dreams Barbecue and Catering, if you can call ahead, you can get your order to go do catering. What's your number here? It's 864-627-4227 at 627-4-BARBECUE. Right, boy, you hear that? If you can't remember the numbers, that's numbers for slow people right there. <laughs> All right, it's Mickey and Chris, and we're off. We appreciate you. At the end of the day, Dabo said something that everybody should remember. Here's 115 players, and 112 of them did the right thing. 
what three did, right or wrong, can't really affect the whole team, and it shouldn't. It's about Clemson football, and it's about Clemson University. And hats off to a coach who makes a stand, disciplines his players, and lets the chips fall where they may. You have to put it, be in a position where you have discipline within your team. It doesn't start at the end of the game. It starts early in the season. And everybody knows about drug testing, if that's what it is. Much luck to Clemson, who has a Tallahassee boy on there, Travis Blanks. So we have to kind of pull for him a little bit. But we do like the story of the Oklahoma quarterback. It's going to be a good game. And all the things that go on behind the scenes is what makes it even more interesting. This is Insights and your host, Mickey Clayton. I'm the coach. Insights is a copyright of Mac4 Enterprises, a Florida corporation. This broadcast is produced under the exclusive ownership of Mac4 Enterprises and is the intellectual property and trademark of Mac4 Enterprises. The comments of the hosts and other individual speakers on Insights represent the independent thoughts and representations.